I'd like to show you some of the advantages of having um, a Google Apps for Education account with the Language Centre. Now, many of you may already be Google users, and you may already have um, a Gmail account, perhaps, or a Google account, uh, which means that when you sign in to Chrome, when you arrive in on the Google um, Chrome browser, you may find that you already have um, a, a logo. You may already have an account here. Now, as you can see here, I've got several accounts, but I'm just going to use my Apps for Ed account, which I reserve strictly for teaching. Um, and the advantage of that here is that um, any resources that I create are not open uh, then to be trawled through by Google spiders um, that, uh, that look for advertising content um, that is applicable to you. So apps for education accounts are actually um, separate from that. Um, so I'm going to come to this little collection of boxes up here having signed in. So I can see I'm on my Apps for Education account. Um, I'm then going to come to Drive, which is where all my documents exist. So I can create any one of the different types of documents. Um, and there are plenty of videos that tell you in more detail what these documents do and how to make them. But let me just simply show you um, how here, for example, I can create a document. So I'm just checking on Create and Document. At that point, I've got an untitled blank document. So I'm going to come up here and click and give the untitled document a name. OK, so for the purposes of today, I will just do that. And now once my document is there, I can start um, sharing and showing any text. And perhaps I want to create this document so that it can be um, modified and other people can uh, contribute to it. Um, now, within the usual sort of file uh, menus up here, you can notice if you open this that at any point um, in this document, I could decide to download it. And I can download it in different formats. So I could create, download it as a Word doc or as a PDF as a final version. So here's my document. How do I manage the sharing? Now, by default, because I've created this in my Apps for Ed account, I'm going to click on Share. You can see here that only people within the Language Center Apps for Education account, by default, can view this document. Now, I can change that, but I've got several layers of privacy beyond the layers of privacy that exist in a normal Google account. So in this case, I'm actually going to come right up to anyone with the link, and no sign-in is required. Uh, and I'm going to say anybody who's been given the link is allowed to edit this document. Now, if I use these settings, I should be able to put that link into Moodle, and when students click on it, they can contribute to the document. So there are my settings. I'm going to click Save. I've now got a link that I can copy and then paste into Moodle. And I've got a reminder of the settings that I've got against this. By default, I am the owner of this document. Now, other people who have Apps for Ed accounts as well, I could invite them directly. And our Apps for Ed account ties up with our Outlook email account. So for example, if I put Claude's name in here, Straight away, I can see where her account is, and I can email her and invite her. Um, so anybody with um, an account on our app thread, it's very quick for me to find them. Now, at that point, I could have any number of people turning up within the document and editing the document. Uh, and that's exactly what I want to happen. And if I need to find out who wrote what, uh, then, or how the changes have happened, then I can come to the file menu and I can click see revision history. And that will give me uh, a variety of, in this case, obviously, I've only put one thing in. But every time there's a change or an addition, I'll have a variety of links. And I can turn back the document to a point in time. So there are lots, there's lots of functionality in here. Um, that make this a very quick way of pulling a document together between a number of people.